I'm explaining to you. Get your okay, face yeah, out of my face. No, get your hand out of my face. You came up to me. I am being arrested for exercising my First Amendment right here in Unity City, New Jersey. Mayor Stack has commanded the arrest. Go right ahead, sir. Can I see That's your license? Yes, sir, I do. Clueless cops occasionally make outrageous blunders. Today, we'll examine some cases where these inept officers realize they've been exposed, starting with a police captain who turned into a dictator. On July 15th, independent journalist Leroy Truth exercised his First Amendment right to expose Union City Mayor Brian Stack's tyranny. During this incident, Union City Captain Omar Hernandez was present, and what he did to the journalist will leave you stunned. He told you you can't read the paper. I don't care what it's he said. It's a limited form. You have to care for it. It's a limited form. What does that mean? It's under the OTMA rules. You have to sit down. So I can't read? That's, that's a legal proceeding that's going on with that. So? You need What's to sit down. We told you once, we're not going to tell you again. You need to sit down. So, no can I talk about something else then? I'll talk, no down, sir. I'll talk about something else then. Oh yeah, talk about something else that you can't talk about. They literally right. told him what he could talk about when he can. That's so I can't talk about his public charges? Okay, then we'll talk about something else. I mean, look at look at his body language right there. How how awkward that is. Okay, so let's see. How could I rephrase this? So you're basically proving my point right now. How how sad is that that I can't talk? Brian Stack is exaggerating and lying in order to file false charges and exaggerated charges against Leroy against his f free speech. I'm gonna be what arrested if I can continue to, continue to read it. They're basically your words, by the way. I was reading your words. So I okay. This is. That's wild. So basically, they're saying that if Leroy continues to go to the mayor's office, that's considered sir, sir, harassment. This isn't appropriate for discussion here. Why? What's not appropriate? I don't know. This is a litigation. So? Do you have to comment on something on the agenda? Or no, it's public comment. This is my. So, so okay, let me, let me keep it more general then. It, I invite Leroy. Please continue to, to join me in the city hall as often as you want, whether you want to come every two weeks, every week. And if they arrest you for harassment, that's, that's un-American and that's wrong. And if they decide to file more charges against you, that is wrong. This is how a tyrant reacts when someone dares to speak the truth and reveal their corruption. It's truly astonishing how entitled they felt to act as they pleased. So, in my opinion, I don't think someone could be, should be charged with a crime for criticizing the pathetic, can I use the word pathetic? Absolutely. Thank you, I appreciate it. The low quality, pretend police chief because he got his feelings hurt and he's un-American and he wants to file charges against a free person here. Anyway, I, I encourage you, Leroy, to continue to criticize the police chief, continue to, continue to criticize. And by the way, see, I want to, I want to, I'm not allowed to consult my notes here. Well, you're allowed to. They can't tell you what to say or not. But I'm going to get arrested. They can't arrest you for that. But what if I don't stop talking? Then I'll be arrested. Okay, so you're basically proving our point right here. How it's basically some communist dictatorship where Mayor Brian Stack dictates, first of all, there's another issue of uh, the lawyer over here use, misuses tax dollars and is basically working as the mayor's political advisor. Your role is only to stop lawsuits and to advise them on the law, not to be his personal uh, political uh, advisor, which you do all the time. Thank you. Hello, Mayor Stack. Now, I have a surprise for you. And you probably don't expect this from Leroy Truth, but because this is a night of awards and presentations, I have a special award for you, Mayor. Now, this award has never been given out in the history of the United States of America. And Mayor Stack, as you know, and are you gonna do your same old you know, song and dance, ignore the public again? It's a shame, you should resign. But I'm gonna give you this award, award anyway, because you've earned this. Now, I have received so many women so many women have contacted me asking me to give you this award. And Mayor Stack and Senator Stack, head of Judiciary Stack, do you know what this award is? Well, I will tell you since you have become mute again, apparently, your mother would not be proud. And this award was earned, excuse me, I have a First Amendment right and I am not, you're disrupting me. You are hurting my First Amendment right sir, right now. Do not so, the commissioner, please. Excuse me, I'm talking. This is my five minutes. Respect the commission. No, I don't have to respect anybody. Absolutely insane. This captain epitomizes a tyrant. He treats the mayor like a ruthless dictator, revealing everything about his leadership style. I am in. I am in a public commissioners. I don't have to respect them. You can't disrespect them. I could disrespect them if I want as well. It's you called First Amendment. Them. Now, I need to give him his award now. This is a limited form. No. In the Atma, you need to step back. No, step I do, back. No, I do step not back need to. Your time will be eliminated. No, I do not need to step back. First step Amendment, back. 
I can be anywhere. There is no statute or law. You name the statute or you law that says I have to be. I don't care what they say. You're disrupting the meeting. Step they on. are disrupting my time. I want my time step back too. The, are you no. get arrested if you don't step back? I do not have. To, you give me the statute step that back. says I You're have to step back. Disrupting the meeting. I am talking. I I'm cannot be disrupting the meeting that's when that's I'm speaking. Not, you're disrupting the meeting. No. I do not have to step back. There is no statute or law. I am in a public. Am I in a public area or not right now? You are in a public area. Am I? But you're disrupting the meeting. I am speaking. I cannot be disrupting the meeting while I am speaking. So you need to stand down and let me and, and protect my First Amendment rights. That's what you need to do. I'll protect it if you get behind the podium. No, I don't there. need to be behind the podium. There is Obviously, no. when you stand over here, you disrupt the meeting. So you need to get back there. Come on. I am in a public area here. So I'm going to give I'm going to give Mayor Stack this very special award now. Now, Mayor Stack. Get behind the podium. No, I am. Right, then I'm going to have to arrest. I do, I do not have to. Do you want to get arrested? Is that what you want? No, I do not want to get arrested. But right, I, I want to exercise. The this is a limited forum. No, there you are disrupting the time, place, and manner. This is why I'm explaining to you. Get your face get out of my face. No, get you, your hand out of my face. You came up to me. Get your hands your hands are in his face, face, sir. Your hands are in his face. De escalate. Your hands are in my face. I'm de escalating. You're not listening. You're not de escalating. You have disrupted my five minutes. You're not listening. You've disrupted my one more time. They told you were disrupting meetings. You, know, you sit down or get behind the podium. I, you give me the statute or law that says I have to stand behind the podium. You, don't, you don't have to sit. You can go back there. And you cannot. What are you talking about? I believe the rest of the world is questioning how we ever considered America a superpower and a land of the free. The behavior of our government and law enforcement is truly appalling. Give me the statute. Hold on, I won't go into a limited form. You're disrupting a commission meeting. That time, place, and manner, brother. Right, I'm not going to play with you. A limited form is time, there? place, no and manner. Everyone go behind. Me? Everyone has protected Are you my right. I don't have to go behind the podium. You're disrupting the meeting. I'm telling you right now. This you're disrupting is my the five meeting. minutes. Your time has already expired, sir. So you're going to have to go. Hey, don't don't strong arm me. I'm not going to resist. I'm not going to resist. Here, take that. I am being arrested for exercising my First Amendment right. Here in Union City, New Jersey, Mayor Stack has commanded they arrest me. No strong army. And I was arrested because I was exercising my First Amendment right, and they were attempting to make me go behind a podium. There is no statute or law that says I have to go behind a podium. I am in a public area in front of the rope right here. Thank you, Mayor Wright. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, Mr. And what, hey, you can tell them to stand down, right? Um, Listen, I'll, I'll give up my life before I give up my rights, ma'am. Nobody's telling you to give up your rights. Right. Can you believe this? He shouldn't be arrested. I'm arrested for First Amendment during my five minutes, and the captain's saying I'm disrupting when he's yelling at me and he disrupts my five minutes of time. And then he says, I have to respect the commissioners? That's a joke. They are not to be respected. They are disrespectable. This is Brian Stack's, Brian Stack's Communist America right here. Yep, look at this. A independent journalist gets arrested for during his five minutes, and a captain says, I'm disrupting the meeting when he disrupts the meeting. Mind, these are the mindless goons. Leroy appeared remarkably calm, as if he anticipated the consequences of speaking up, yet he did it anyway. That's real courage. Goons right here. There's moralists and conformists. Conformists will do whatever they are told, regardless of what is right. That's what the captain and Murrow, you know better. You can stand down. You don't have to do this, Murrow. So they have broken the 100% track record of protecting my constitutional rights. No. I'm not resisting, I'm not going to resist. You get arrested for not standing behind a podium, can, can, another law. No, there's no law or statute. And Rodriguez understood that law and statute. Because they tried to... They, right, Rodriguez is smart, that's why. Yeah. He's intelligent. Right. This guy is not intelligent, he's a meat Rodriguez head. did an awesome job, and, and one of the he's officers a, here told him to stand down. This is a communist... Captain, you're, you're so wrong, buddy. And you're going to lose your qualified immunity no here. You understand that, right? Podium. You, you're going to use your qualified immunity, your pension. This is a man of limited intelligence. He does what he's told. Right as he walks past the American flag. The American flag means nothing to these people. No, freedom doesn't mean anything. The First Amendment doesn't. How sir. often do you arrest people for speaking, sir? And How often do you arrest people for speaking? You're going to arrest me too for speaking? You're going to arrest me too for speaking? To the, uh, to no, not you. Not no, you. not me? No. How do you sleep You're disgusting. Night? You're disgusting. You're going to lose your qualified immunity. And that's accurate speech. That's not defamation. And the whole world is going to see you. The captain's face clearly showed embarrassment and shame. It was not the expression of someone confident in their actions. Or perhaps he was too clueless to tell right from wrong. He's just a thoughtless fool. It's public. The manner was peacefully. Right. Yeah. He said because I didn't respect the commissioner. You have no idea what a public so forum is. He, this guy doesn't even know what a limited public forum is. All right. and you're a bum on. then and you're a bum now. That's my and that's opinion. accurate. That's not defamation. It's disgusting. Can you get my, can I get my car keys? 
I'll meet you at the well, I'll meet you at the police station. You don't deserve that badge. You don't deserve no, that I'm badge. serious. You're an anti-American. We're, we're gonna take that you're badge. You're anti-American. Lawfully. That's what you are. Lawfully. And you're not intelligent enough to understand that. Don't disrespect them. Respect the public. You work for us. Respect the public who pay your tax, who pay your salary. Listen to me for a second. Yeah. Once, once he's arrested and you get oh, involved, no, no, that's you could get him. I can speak no, though. You yeah. could, uh, absolutely. I can record. I can you speak. Could. I would never uh, interfere or obstruct or anything. No, but he's like a garbage that. human being, that captain. He's garbage. But I, but I know, I know the, I know the law. I would never violate the law. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate that. Was the mama bearing you? Just, you know, I can't imagine doing that to another human being. Hand, imagine handcuffing cuffing a man because he was disrespectful to the ma to the mayor. The mayor. That's sick. Ima imagine, imagine having charges pressed on you because you made satire comics about a public figure. Sir, do you think that man should been should have been arrested for disrespecting the mayor? Do you think the mayor is is a, a god? And now what they've done is they've invited Leroy back because now he has to come back for court, so good, good job. The nerve to arrest someone for a fabricated crime and then accuse them of bullying is among the most outrageous things I've seen in a while. However, it's a relief that the captain was caught red-handed and will face the repercussions for his corrupt actions. This captain was a massive egomaniac. Wait till you get a load of these horde of gangsters posing as cops. Oh. If, you, if you try and run from me, do anything, oh. I'm gonna tase you. On July 21st, 2024, Tavis Heinze, a local resident living out of his car in Brown County, Indiana, uploaded a video to his channel, Nachi Tochis vs. Travis Heinze, showcasing a heated encounter he had with some deputies. What's up? Can I help you? Yeah, so I'm, I'm Deputy Kislara with the Brown County Sheriff's Office. I'm just out here uh, trying to make contact with you and figure out what's going on. Oh, yeah, I, I can, uh, I was gonna get some water and then I was gonna take off. You living out of your vehicle? Well, I mean, I, I'm just hanging out. Okay. Do you have an idea on you, sir? What's What's the crime? What's that? What's the crime? Well, you're, oh, you're you see? Look, looks an awful lot like you're camping out of your vehicle in the uh, parking lot of the business. Well, no, I, I'll take off. I just uh. Nope. nope. What? I'm, I'm Don't investigating this, okay, and I have okay. been working this area for the past several years. Several years? Yep, and I know the management here and the ownership at Woodman's, and they don't they don't allow people to be camping out of their vehicle in their oh, parking I, lot. Oh, okay, well, I, I can move. I... Deputy Carr immediately viewed Travis with suspicion and showed no sympathy, rudely waking him from his sleep with a flashlight in his face. Anyone could end up in a situation like Travis's, and respect should be shown. Moreover, Carr overstepped his authority by demanding ID, despite there being no crime committed. You know, right now I'm gonna wanna see your driver's license. Okay, what was the crime? Sir, you have your driver's license. Yeah, what's the crime? Sure, and I, I'd be happy to explain that to you after I get your driver's license. Well, as, I mean, it takes a couple of... Right, I know, but I need to know who I'm talking to, right? And we're not gonna be going and digging yeah, the bag. Oh. Get your hand out of the bag. Oh, sure, okay. All right. Step out of the car. Oh, sure, yeah. Step out of the car right now. Stop dicking around with the camera and get out of the car. All right. <clears throat> We're not gonna be reaching oh. for anything else. Get out of the car. Okay, okay, okay. Put your hands behind your back. Sure. Do you have any weapons on? What do you have in your pocket? The profoundly unprofessional Deputy Carr was so easily frightened that he felt the need to put Travis in cuffs to feel secure. It's a pathetic display of tyrannical behavior, if you ask me. Separate your feet. Separate your feet. Oh, well, separate your feet. Sure. All right, where's your ID? What's, what's the crime on there? Where's your ID? What am I uh, being suspected of for crime? Okay, you're gonna take a seat right here, okay? Oh, sure, sure, okay. This is what's gonna happen, oh. okay? You're gonna cross your feet. Oh. If you if you try and run from me or do anything, oh. I'm gonna tase you, okay? You're gonna tase me? Okay. Yeah. So where's your ID? 
what's, what's, what's going on? What's the problem? Yeah, what's I need to have your ID, yeah. and then I'll be happy to explain things to you. So where is your ID? Well, what's, what's your name? Who are you guys? I'm Deputy Kitzlar with the Brown County Sheriff's Office. Kitzlar? Yeah. All right. Is that uh, K I T? It's right here. S L E R. It's right here. Oh, I, I can't see it. Okay, that's wonderful. Where's Kits, your ID? No, no, Kits Where's line? your ID? Does it start with a K or What's your a name? C? What's your I, name? I just want to get this right. Does it start with a Where's K? Where's your ID? Kits, okay, so I, I'm just taking a guess. I'll figure it out at the police station later. Okay. Where's your Wait, ID? Are you guys sheriff? You're police? You're both police? Okay. And then your name? Your. Your, okay, so is that Y O R? Yes. Deputies Kitzler and Yor also arrived on the scene, further violating Travis's Fourth Amendment rights by searching him. They then made excuses about the supposed crime to continue bullying him. It's utterly disgusting. Kitzler, yeah, I mean, my, my last name is Hines, so... Maybe what's your first name? Okay, yeah, what's, what's your guys' first name? Kits, Kitzler and Yor. Okay. What's, what's Kitzler? Listen, we're not going to get anywhere until I have your let's, driver's let's license. Let's find out who each other are, yeah. Deputy Kitzlar with the Brown County okay. Sheriff's Office. Yeah, that yeah. number is 1402. Okay. All right. I have Wait. a legal reason to identify you now. Let me too. Okay. I got a legal reason. Listen, listen to me. I have a legal reason to identify you. Okay. So, I'm asking where your you ID is. You guys are being rude. I'm asking where your ID is. Well, you guys are being really rude. You're showing me your lights in my face. I guess. Well, okay. So, are you failing to provide identification? It sounds like you are. I mean, are you I, refusing to? Are you I have absolutely no reason to give you my full identity. Well, okay. why is that? What's protecting I've given you? you my information, my badge number, and the first initial of my name. Okay. okay. You don't need anything you further than that. I, I have that. a legal reason to be stopping you as an officer. What's the crime? And again, I said I'm okay. happy to explain that after I get your ID. All right. Well, I mean, you heard it. I mean, I'm, nope. I'm... Nope. You didn't provide anything. That's it. It's T. Hines. Okay. You What's your, your first name? Hey, let's hear your first name. What's, What's your why, first name? Why are you withholding your information? I'm me? not. I was yeah, happy to provide it to you. Here, right? I was happy to provide and it to you. And then you got your, I don't have, what's the first What's, what's your first initial, name? What's the initial of his What's your first name? name? Travis had had enough of the bullying and Kitzler's condescending attitude, especially as the deputy insisted on demanding identification without providing a legal basis. No law prohibits the deputy from explaining his reasoning before obtaining identification. Okay, and, and I... I want to make I this perfectly clear. I'm hey, your, your listen order. to me. I'm Are you order. refusing That's to right. identify yourself? Stop to talking over me. I'm willing to exchange it. I'm Are you refusing to identify yourself? We can make this really clear and I'm really quick so then I can just take you to jail and you can sit in a person? cell until you identify yourself. I'm willing to exchange you weren't. You're not identifying who you are. I did. B. I, B. Kitzler T. Hines. I'm okay. telling you. What's your first name? What's your first name? B. Okay. Kitzler. I mean, come on, what's, what, uh, what's, what's so hard first? about that? Copy. What's your, your first initial? What's what's the first? A T. Your, it's M. M your. It's either an M or an N. I mean, I'll find it out eventually once I, you know, I'll talk to the police station, make my complaints about you guys. Right. And get, you some, get some, get some, some uh, training records and, and discipline records for your and kids there. The officer remains unresponsive to Travis's requests and instead focuses on what's inside Travis's vehicle, doing so unlawfully since they have no valid reason to search it. All, yeah, the way you guys uh, manhandled me the way you did, I mean... Well, when you're reaching I, into I think, a fucking bag... There's, oh, here, there's nothing Travis, in the bag. When you're reaching into a... Yeah, there's nothing in the bag. Just but a general bag. Coin purse, a coin purse. Do you know how many people yeah. we deal with that have guns and knives? Yeah, and... When you're reaching and into you a guys, bag... You guys are sorely underprepared for a coin purse. Right. So you that's what it is? It's a coin you, purse? You, you elevated it. sounded like you pulled out your gun or something. Oh, I did. You were so, reaching into a bag. I told you to stop. Yeah. You weren't listening. So you, you overreact. I mean, this whole situation, you've been overreacting. Have you ever heard sure. of Over this situation. What was it? Were you called Actually, or were you showing react. up? Were you called or were you just a part of a regular uh, patrol? Yeah, no, it after, after you, after you a, confirmed. Was there a complaint? Hey, Mr. Hines. What's the complaint? Mr. Hines, Kitzler. are you going to let me talk? What's, what's the are you going to let me talk? I asked the question first, then you can talk, okay? I'm giving you the Holy opportunity shit, to dude, talk you've asked, after I ask my question. Kitzler. Then ask a question. Travis, well versed in his rights, tried to defend himself and hold his ground against the group of officers. Although he asked the right questions, he struggled to get through to these thick-headed officers, who were more focused on him reaching into a bag than addressing his concerns. 
What's so hard about uh, answering it when I asked it? You didn't you ask me a question. Keep... You've been running your mouth since yeah. I asked you to step out of the car. You're playing mind games, okay? Okay, so what's your question? Right. I asked it twice, and then now you're going to say that, and then I ask it a third time, Kitzler, and you're going to be like, oh, did you ask your question again? No, what's That's your crazy. question? You're playing some real mind games here, Kitzler. Okay, what's your question? What's, what's, what's the deal with you? All right, how long have you been working here? How long have you been on this 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 police force? Uh, since February of 21. And you're, have you ever have you worked day shift? Do you only been night shift, Kitzler? All different shifts. You seem you seem like a real night shift type of guy. I don't think you would survive. You do so well on day shift with the, the politicization going on, being in you know the public eye and all that. I don't know if I, I don't know if you'd handle that very well. The way you treat me here, you don't seem like a very good guy. Uh, you can handle all hey, that. Hey, are you public. okay with me taking a look through your car? No, I'm not okay with that. Why don't you run a dog around or something? Any of you guys uh, dog canine? Oh, we've got a canine coming over. Your, okay, all right, yeah. Yeah, you really get thorough about uh, your work. Oh, there he is, right? Oh, you guys, you guys got to be real Okay, so you said that you had a question, so what's your question? Yeah, I asked you a question. Are you going to ask it or not? Given the unfortunate situation Travis was in, he had no choice but to relinquish more of his rights and allow a canine to sniff around the vehicle. It was still a better option than having his rights completely trampled if the deputies had conducted a search. It's an ID off of you. Guys, you guys don't just make conversation, you make harassment and threats. Okay, then you can that's, file a complaint. I mean, that's, that's all you guys operate. You guys don't. There's, there's, there's levels of identification and you need to be involved. Okay, am, am I being detained? Yes. Okay, then this, this is this is a situation where I invoke my rights. I mean, this you have okay, an but investigation. I'm, I'm telling you, we're not just doing a I'm telling you that I have reason to identify you. Okay, okay so I'm asking you, you I am asking you, I you. Yeah, and I told you too. No, you didn't. You, you, you gave me a last name, name and a first initial. I need your date of birth. There's, there's a little bit of that yeah. cruel and unusual behavior going on. That uh, you guys, cool and unusual punishment, right? That's, that's your, your, uh, you're pushing, you're pushing the limits. Okay. okay. So again, I asked, so, what, what right is being violated? What right is being violated? Yeah. All right. Well, let's start with the fourth. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you know what the fourth amendment is? Yup. Oh, there you go. You're checking it out. Good. Huh? I'm the only one here that's got to get picked on. There's, there's, there's like 50 other cars here. Oh. I'm the guy who's got to get picked on. Travis sits in frustration, questioning why the officers targeted him out of the entire parking lot. However, what Deputy Kitzler said next was the most troubling part of the encounter. Let's hear your date of birth. I'll tell you no, I am not required to give that to you. You are okay. required to give it to me no, right now. No, you don't know how the law works. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, I'm not. I'm not educated, and you're the one living out of your car. No, nah, you're. Yeah, you're. Oh, that's how you look at it. I do this. I do this every day. Education levels have to I do, do with no. uh, you know your, your income status. No, no. It's directly related. I right? do this. Income, income. Every single day. Every single night. You're a night shift worker. Okay. You're definitely not qualified to work the day shift. With this attitude, both of you guys, the way you work, no way. I don't believe that you work the day shift at all. You've ever worked the day shift. What's your phone it's astounding to witness the limited intellect and reasoning of these officers. One of them actually believes that income and education are correlated, highlighting a significant level of immaturity and unprofessionalism. Officers like this should be removed sooner rather than later. Fortunately, the K-9 arrived to confirm Travis's innocence. Despite the canine not alerting the officers, they persisted in searching the driver's compartment of Travis's car. This was unfortunate because the whole reason for using the canine was that Travis had not consented to a search of his vehicle. Did he give you a stronger indication in any specific area? This side. On my side over here. Did you find anything? There's a pouch with these weird seeds, but I don't know what they are. Oh, 
why you would have them in there. It's got a lot of little stuff in there. When Deputy Kitzler realizes that nothing can be retrieved from Travis's vehicle, he has to accept that he must let Travis go. This must have been challenging for Kitzler, given how much he seemed to enjoy bullying. What's this on top of my car? I don't know, I'm assuming that's something that maybe uh, oh. my partner took out. Oh, what a mess. Well, uh, yeah, see what you do is you come here, you mess up my car, and then you there tell you me go. I gotta leave immediately. It's yep. like, look at this. Yep. Sounds good, so we'll give look you a couple this. of minutes, all right, Travis, so good luck. The bully cops, unable to find anything illegal in Travis's vehicle, decide to give him a parting gift. They order him out of the parking lot. However, they only give him a few minutes to clear out and leave, turning it into a race against the clock for Travis to clean up and get moving. For the last case, a congressional candidate was caught threatening a police officer. Do your Russian immigrant status that makes people like this? On February 14, 2022, congressional candidate Martin Hyde from the Sarasota area was pulled over by Officer Sebastian at the corner of Fruitville Road and Euclid Avenue. What Hyde did next was nothing short of despicable. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, sir? I'm Sebastian Sarasota Police Department. You're on audio and video recording. The reason for the stop, you were observed going 57 and a 40, and you were on your phone texting while you were doing that. That was at Euclid and Fruitville. You don't need to point at the officer. I'm not pointing at you. I'm pointing in the direction where it was. I'll just do the chief, guys. Go right ahead, sir. Can you I see your license? Yes, sir, I do. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? Can you do this? Yes, sir. I'm sorry? I still have a job to do, sir. Yeah, okay. What's your name? Officer Sebastian, it's going to be on the citation. Can I see your insurance registration and your license, please? Please. please? Sir, can I have How your paperwork? Seven years, sir. Can I see your registration, please? You're not going to give me your registration, sir. Me? I'm asking you if you're going to produce me with your registration. You want to have it on you? Look, go call the chief of immigration. Tell him how good you've just been to me. Mm -hmm. Blame this figure. Okay. I'm going to call Marlon Brown. Can you call the mayor? Okay. We're not okay, darling. Tell him what to do. Okay, sir. Are you refusing to produce your registration? I'm asking you if you have your registration. You're making career decisions. I'm okay, sir. Sir, because you were speeding and you were texting. Where's your video? All right. It's astonishing how some of these tyrants believe they're above the law and that the Constitution doesn't apply to them. Their actions contribute significantly to the country's current state of disarray. Call the supervisor. I just spoke to you, boss. Okay. That's not okay. You want your people work? Do you see your Russian immigrant status that makes people like this? Fourteen, four, Fourteen dispatch. Can you have my supervisor respond, please? Yeah. And then we'll see who goes. Okay. You don't want no. your paperwork? Sixty-one forty-two. Fifty-one zero three. Don't have Sir, you're going to be issued a citation. Anything you have to say. I'll wait for the supervisor. You can wait for the supervisor, but I'm going to go through what I need to go through. No, I'm not interested. Are you are going to be issued a citation? There's the registration. Okay. Well, you've been already issued a citation for that. You're going right, to be issued yeah. a citation 57 and a 40 for speeding. The fine is 256. Here. Information in the back. You're going to have an option to plead guilty. An option to plead not guilty and an option to take a safe driver's course. If you qualify for the course, it will reduce your fine. And it will reduce your points. If you decide to go ahead and do that, just make sure you do it prior to submission of you know payment. What? You know what he said about you? <laughs> You want to hear what he said about you? He could say all he wants about me. I got a job to do, sir. Yeah. You know what he said about okay. you? If he you fail to you complete... Before, like this. Okay. And he's going to have you again. And that's fine. It's not fine. What you said is fine. Sir? I'm a law-abiding citizen, and you're being bloody okay. rude to me. If you decide to go ahead and do the court, just make sure you do a prior to submission of payment, as they do you require a certificate of completion. If you sign up for it, you must complete it. Otherwise, they will go ahead and suspend your license. He showed no shame or guilt for his actions, which suggests he had done this before and managed to get away with it. Court. 
Texting and driving. Your fine is 116. Information in the back. You're going to have an option to plead guilty and an option to plead not guilty. You are going to be issued a citation for failure to provide your registration upon request. Your fine is 116. Information in the back. You're you have that, guilty you're or not guilty. Uh, you're lying. <laughs> Green paper. Green paper tells you, you have 30 lying? days to reply. Why are you lying? You have 30 Why days to are reply. You lying? Your payment options are on the green question. form. Why are you phone, lying? Phone number on the bottom Why in case you have any questions. Come? When my supervisor comes, I'll wait for him with you if you like me to. Your citation is already You have something. I will to wait. wait. I will wait, but I will wait on my car. There you go. You have the bad Sir, step back into your car or stand on the sidewalk so you don't get hit by a vehicle. It's for your safety. 14 right here. Can I have another unit respond? Sir, stand over there. It's for my safety and for your safety. Sir? 10 4, the driver being extremely active and cooperative. 61 22 to 67 15. Are you anywhere close? I can't. He won't let me leave until a supervisor shows up. Martin Hyde. I just gave him three tickets. Speeding, 57 and a 40, text in while driving, and failure to produce his registration because he told me I could look it up. And he's going to have my job. Everything is on camera. <laughs> Are you still waiting for a supervisor or are you leaving? Brandy, I'm just coming down. Okay. The worst part was that Hyde knew everything was being recorded. Either he believed his actions were justified or he thought he could erase the footage. You know Pat Robinson, right? Yes, I do, sir. Why are you doing Because I have a job to do, sir. Oh, my Nobody's above the law. No one's above the law. You have to have some degree of respect for law abiding. Effect. That degree of respect started the moment I walked up to your car, sir. No. You knew exactly what you were doing. If that is your feeling, you are more than welcome to fight the citations in court. I'll fight the citations. Okay. I'll fight your report. Okay. You are more than. Yeah. You know, you're an influential person. You are. Very. You can go ahead and do that. Yes, I can. Okay. Why don't you just just say you're sorry? Because I did nothing wrong, sir. I was doing my job. But I am going to ask you either to sip, sit in your car or step on the sidewalk yeah. because I don't want either one of us getting hit. Sarge Frangione is on his way. Okay. Speeding 57 and a 40. Uh, texting while driving. Failure to produce his registration when I asked. He told me I could look it up. Okay. You know who he is. Yes. Right? Yeah, you got identified him. Yes. Okay. So you're just going to stay by to cite him or is that what you... He already got cited. Oh, he has already got yeah. the citation. So He's... he just. From the moment I woke up. So he's just waiting for... He's waiting for supervisor, and I guess he spoke to Frangioni, so Frangioni is on his way. Okay. Bobby just pulled up. Okay. Hello, Mr. Hyde? I guess Frang you, you talked to Sergeant Frangioni by the phone? I did, yeah. Okay. Imagine having such a fragile ego that you demand an apology from an officer for a mistake you made. This is completely unacceptable. To make matters worse, the sergeant seemed visibly shaken when he realized who he was dealing with. That's why another you someone a certificate, uh, ticket for no registration when they've got their registration. She's trying to make her spurs, but it's a big mistake. Well, this one is the expired one, but... Well, that doesn't make it. It'll take yeah. two seconds. Yeah. We're going to make sure that she pays the price for being disrespectful. I just want you to witness it. Know that they, yeah, the registration was right there, and she deliberately chose to write the ticket. She came up. She said the first. Look, there's a video of it, so be quiet. There's a video of what you said. There is. And I've got a video of what you said. Right? Yeah. What she said was, I, 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 I don't have it. She immediately said, I write your citation. She went right back. She never said anything. She went straight back. She, I denied the citation. She straight back and wrote the citation. Interested in listening to you, young lady. I was yeah, just a second, officer. Yeah. When the supervisor arrived, this egomaniac lost it completely and said things you wouldn't believe. Yep, go to the station. Hey, Martin. Yeah, I have to leave it on. All right, <laughs> All right so here's the thing. She lied. 
about the cell phone thing. Okay. She lied about the, I don't know, the speed, I could care less. You can give me the ticket all day long. I could care less okay. about that. And then I gave her the registration. And she, before it was, she's, oh, your registration? It's in the car there somewhere. She goes off, she writes me a ticket, she brings me back a citation. I said, there it is. Okay. And she still gives me it. Okay. All right. All right. She's being fun. And the thing is, I appreciate that. I back you guys left, right, and center. I understand that. I do. I do. I trust me. I do and know I that. I don't expect better treatment, but I don't expect worse treatment. If that's how you treat people, that's unacceptable. Well, she's a traffic officer. Yeah, that's what we do. Traffic, but I understand. Yeah, I understand that's what she do. Yeah. yeah. It's not what you do, and you know it. Listen, she has a job to do. I'm not. Listen, I, I'm going to look way. at the. I'm going to look at the video. I, I understand your concerns. I'm going to look at the video. I notified everybody in the chain of command right now. That's what I was doing. That's why I was not coming here. I thought you were going to meet me at the station, but it's not a big deal. I'll, I'm going to. She's going right now to dock her video. Right now, she's going to dock the video. And if there's problems, you will be the first to know. Well, I know there's problems. The difference is, I'll do something about it. Okay, I understand. Yeah, I'm going to take your complaint. Is what I'm doing. That's the first step. You know, how can you write a ticket for no registration when you've got the registration? I mean, as if I get a hundred and fifty thousand dollar car. I've lived here for twenty five years. And I don't register a car. Why do that? It's horrible that the female officer received no support from either of her supervisors. These supervisors don't uphold what's right. Instead. They enable and condone corruption. He's not the only traffic officer that writes. Would you give a ticket for that? I, I really don't leave the office. <laughs> I understand right. what you're saying. I understand you no, have a video I, on there, uh, but the fact is, nobody in their right mind would give a ticket for that to me. No. I, I I understand what you're saying, and you producing it. She probably should have taken that ticket away, but I'm going to find out what exactly occurred. Because and she had a beer in a bonnet because she thought she was on a big power trip. Guess what? She's been there seven years. She ain't going to make eight. Okay. I'll make sure. Okay. Well, I'll I'll, uh, I'll get going on. Yeah. All right. Listen, that's your prerogative. I want to get I want to get this started. This is not right, Andy. Minimum of respect is yes, sir, no, sir. Not a word of it. Straight up, talking to me like I'm a piece of dirt. Get back in your car. Which is this? I'm she standing. She's got a car door open, and I'm leaning against here talking to someone. Okay. Right? So, in in case you get hit by traffic, just being difficult. Okay. Right? Just being cocky. I understand. I do understand where you're coming from. But it isn't. It's a bad interaction. Yeah. It, it definitely seemed. It definitely. It definitely seemed like it was. <laughs> How difficult is it to come to me and say you do a 57? Give us your license and your registration. Why get into immediately like that when she knew exactly who she was talking to? If that's how. No wonder you got people shooting people in Newtown. If that's how you talk to. People. In the video Hyde was being a hotshot, but later released a public apology saying, I tried to bully her, I am not proud of it. Sarasota police are not commenting on the incident. However, a spokesperson said the officer's actions are not being reviewed. Do you think Hyde's apology was sincere? Or was it just a tactic to save face? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, subscribe so you don't miss the next one we have lined up for you. Thanks for watching.